potent. Oh. What were you watching there, Nate? I don't know. My mind just instantly clicked off. I am not authorizing you to record me. My image is copyrighted. I thought about doing that. I should file a copyright claim with YouTube. Get the ones that- Us too, I'm what's in. his channel? We can get them shut down. I'm filming anything. You want to I'm do filming that? nothing. <laughs> uh, you did record once. One thing I need to work on in life is doing laundry and stuff more frequently than two weeks. <laughs> because if I stayed up on top of doing my laundry and I stayed up on cleaning my car and everything, just did a little bit every day rather than hours in one day just cleaning, my life would be a lot easier. So I think if you do things in small increments every day, it's not going to be as horrendous of a task. So today I'm gonna to talk about being gay and Christian while I fold my underwear. <laughs> Interesting, all right. This is a topic I've thought about talking about for a while. There's a large amount of LGBT that don't feel accepted in that community. So I'm gonna just share my experience. I'm not gonna go into Bible verses or get into the politics of anything. I respect all religions, this isn't me trying to tell you what to believe in. This is just me sharing my personal experience and beliefs. And if you want to share like what your beliefs are, what your experiences are, you can comment below. I'd like to read those. So yeah, I'm going to get into it while I fold my boxers. <laughs> so weird. So basically growing up, I was grown up into a really strong Catholic faith. My mom is very Catholic. My dad was never super religious. I mean, he would go to church with us sometimes, but he was never involved in any of it. So I went to a Catholic private school in elementary school and in middle school. And it was not a fun place, to be honest. I don't know if my life would have been better growing up if I had gone into a public school right away. I definitely would have been exposed more to the world sooner. Maybe that wouldn't have been good, but I've always been a person where I don't really let people influence me that much. So I don't think I would have become a different person because of it, but I don't know. I didn't really like, I guess I didn't really like school in general. I mean, I like the public school a little bit more, but I, whatever, I'm getting off topic. So basically, I grew up Catholic, would go to church every Sunday with my mom. I never felt accepted in the church once I realized I was gay. I don't know if it was in the sermons or what they would be talking about, just things that were just homosexuality is a sin. That whole controversial topic that's been spread around. I am just gonna speak from factual standpoint. It is not a sin to be gay. So anyone can come at me for that, but it's not a sin. God made me who I am. He made everybody who they are and no one's a mistake. So it's not a sin, but I'm going to get into the logistics of how my relationship with God has shifted over time, realizing I was gay and sharing that aspect of it. My mom just got back. We had gone to my aunt's funeral today. It was a beautiful service, um, but she stayed for a while after, so she just got home. So Brief intermission, I folded my underwear. <laughs> I might continue my story. So I'm not trying to generalize and say all Catholics are super judgmental people because my mom is not judgmental at all. Like there's, there's amazing people of all religions and there's bad people in all religions. Like that's just how it is. Whether Christian, Buddhist, there's always gonna be bad people no matter what. It doesn't matter what religion you are. There's good and bad people and how you choose to handle your beliefs and whatever. So I never felt accepted in the Catholic church I never felt super close to God 
there. I think one big thing that the LGBTQ community needs to know is religion and God are two different things. If you're not accepted in church, you're like, okay, well, God doesn't love me. Like, I'm done. Like, that's it. That's not further from the truth. The only people that are judging you are people. God is not judging you. He loves you. I always knew that in the back of my mind. So I always had a good relationship with God. I was always praying and relying on him for the pain and suffering in my life and like getting through hard times. And I feel like I've been helped so many times through things that I couldn't have gone through alone. So I've always had that relationship, but in the church, there was always that disconnect with me and I never felt comfortable going there. I never felt accepted going there. So I ended up finding another church. It is more upbeat. They do a lot of um, like live concert stuff and then they have a message the messages relate to real life current things going on so rather than it just reiterating the bible every year like they do the calendar cycle this is pertaining to different topics and different things that we struggle with every day and relating that to bible scriptures and stuff but rather than going in like that general like just circle it's kind of like picking apart and i just really found peace and connection there and I've just been able to go with some great people to this church. There's a couple of churches I've been going to that are like that. And just, I feel really close to God when I'm there. I feel very accepted there. It's just a very loving place. If I feel like believing in things you cannot see is powerful. It's just a powerful thing. So yeah, I pray. I go to church when I can. Um, my best friend Shaylee, we go to church together. I've always been Christian, but I just think people need to know that if you're not accepted at the church you go to, there is one that you will be accepted at. It's the people that are being judgmental. It's not God. So thank you guys for listening to my little story. I don't know if I explained that well at all. I probably didn't, but I'm just going off of my experience. I'm just speaking my, my truth personally. And hopefully from the series that I've been doing, you guys can learn something. I have gone into a lot of mental health stuff in the series. Spiritual health is very important for me, so I had to include that. And then next week, you guys also voted. It was pretty dead even on the last two, so I'm just gonna do like a double, like a just talk about both things, but how I lost weight and my future goals. So I'll be talking about that in the final, the final one next week. But thank you guys so much for listening to my little, my little chat. And the most important thing you can do is be a good person. Mm -hmm.